Nadia's like amazing and like really cool and special. And just off the top of my head, I'm just thinking like Nadia's really amazing and pretty cool and stuff like that. And, um, and we're gonna buy a house in the hills and live together forever. Me and and me. Um, I'm thinking maybe in the future we could potentially buy a house in the hills and live together forever, happily. <laughs> Yo, beautiful people. So, last week I told you guys about the Internet Citizens Roadshow. We started in Liverpool, but we travelled to 12 different cities across the UK. We deliver 17 workshops and meet over 500 amazing kids. Now we're on our way to... Lisa, where are we going now? Sheffield. So one of the best things about this project is that we are travelling across the UK to 12 different cities and it's like an experience for all of us, really, like not even just the kids but, but for me because some of these cities I've never been. So it's an incredible opportunity to meet kids from a variety of different backgrounds. And with this awesome opportunity I've learned a few things and I wanted to share them with you. So here's three things I learned about young people travelling the UK. In Sheffield. Mm, brown man in Sheffield. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of brown people in Sheffield. Don't believe the stereotypes. Up north. Bah, bah, bah. I really like YouTube because like, I'm the kind of guy that learns on like video things. I, can't, I find reading a bit boring. I use that a lot for revising for GCSEs. You can find someone on YouTube that you really, like, is really good. For me, I just have so many YouTube inspirations. Like, so many people have become my YouTube inspirations just because of the things they do are just so amazing. Like, and there's one of them. Like, I've been watching his videos since he like sort of started. So, like meeting him was such an inspiration today. But um, yeah, it's really glad to be on these road shows and have at least someone who recognises my YouTube channel. Me, <laughs> I'm the best. He's a nobody. He thinks he's the one. Too much. <laughs> Before that, I didn't really think I could express myself for who I was. My father always said to me that you know you're suffering from an identity crisis because you just don't know what you're doing. And then like as soon as I sort of like found these YouTubers who were just so full of energy and they didn't care what people thought, being them for them, it just made me realise that I could express myself in the way I wanted to. We were in Rochdale. There were there were two two very different people from two very different backgrounds, and we were playing this game that facilitates a debate and what ensued was incredibly interesting. Yeah. And when you're targeting an ethnic minority, they're obviously going to feel threatened. Yeah. So that's just wrong. On there, does it actively say anything bad about them though? Yeah, he's making a judgement of the fact and I'm not saying it's right, but what I'm saying is, are they actively saying that just because they're from a different country, it's a bad thing? Oh, I'm not getting in with you because you're just like all of them. When you're born, did you decide that, okay, I want to be black, I want to be Asian, I want to be white? No. Like, everyone here is equal and we all share the same values and we all believe in the same thing. Like, I, I don't agree with the comment, I think it's a bad comment, but the fact that you've just turned around and basically brought it down is like quite a good thing, so thanks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> drop like. <laughs> drop like. <laughs> You answered the challenge beautifully. We don't talk enough about what happens online. We let it just stay online. This means we can share powerful opinions and find a beautiful middle ground. But what we've noticed as a result of traveling the UK is that a lot of young people's perspectives are formed from the environments around them. And that becomes especially clear when you get them in a, in a space where they have to discuss some sensitive topics, some of the opinions they might have. What's the difference between E.T. and Muslims? E.T. got the point and went home. <laughs> <laughs> Why do Muslim girls keep quiet during sex because they're not supposed to talk to strangers? This is the most uncomfortable word I've ever felt like. It's so horrible. Reading it, I was just like, whoa. It kind of like, it's really personal, but not, it's not personal to me. But it still yeah. feels really like personal, like it's attacking it's, yeah, it's As people, recipients of, of abuse like that, how does it feel to read stuff like that? Maybe they don't actually agree with the views, but because they have a social group who have such views, they start to internalise even. For a lot of these people, they are standing face to face with people that they've never had the opportunity to sit face to face to. That's powerful. I really feel like the biggest cure to alleviating or curing us of our own ignorances is just being in the same environment, having a face-to-face -face discussion with people you've never had the opportunity to meet. And what's amazing about this project is that we're really, really bringing together people from different corners of the country 
really forcing them to have really sensitive conversations towards each other and you know what comes out of it as a result is really eye-opening for a lot of people not just the kids but also for the for the for the team involved okay compose yourselves <laughs> Forget, you yes. have to compose yourself and that's why to just go back to your country where you marry your brothers. And how did that make you feel having to say that or read that? Well, because that's not how I am. It was like, yeah. wow. How do you feel if you're a young person reading that? How do you think they have to feel? I would feel that, you know, they're just uneducated and they're ignorant and they need to go educate themselves. Because they're morons. I think it takes for you to actually get to know people for you to realise that there isn't that much different at all. Because mm, if I saw you on the street, I probably wouldn't come and talk to you, but now like, Which we're is doing... Yeah. Exactly, and that's the whole point of this space, yeah. right? So what's interesting about the online space is that people feel a lot more comfortable to say negative things about each other. You're really beautiful and smart. Thank you. <laughs> 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 now she's not composed. Now she's all getting like cherry blossom and red. <laughs> oh, we win. So tell me, what's there what you expected? You can be honest. Like, it doesn't matter if Fusion's in the back. It doesn't matter if Fusion's <laughs> behind me. But it does. This day was not what I expected. It was, it was kind of better, so... Yours seems like a ray of sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was honestly interesting. Cool to make new friends and meet new people as well as just... You guys just, just met? Yeah, friends? I've never met them before. <laughs> I don't know about friends. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Open that door for me, bruv. Nah. Open that door for me right now. <laughs> CC, I ordered this cab, innit? You remember that? <laughs> like, the levels go up. Don't know about and me. a man like G ain't having it. He's like, yeah, like we no, roll. The celebrity that. German wins. Henry, bro. open the door for me, bro. Open. See what I mean, CC? Yo, bro. Open that door for me, G. G. They, don't, they don't respect talent. They don't respect talent. Hey, so a long day in Birmingham just finished. I'm with my boys. How was it today, guys? I'm burnt, <laughs> bro. I'm sleeping on the train. So I can recharge and come again. But yeah, nah, it's been all blessed, man. And Henry, what about you? I'm just No one cares, Henry. Fucking hell. Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> one day, you think you should the day. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not one day. Henry has got the day, day in his eye count. He knows what day it's going to be. I show my love by being quite mean to the people I love the most. So that's why I'm so mean to you, because I love you, alright? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the world where people ain't afraid to be jealous. Where it's like you're weird if you're ever acting overzealous. Inspiration finds the mind when I'm hanging with the fellas. Watching politicians speak, but I ain't sure of what they tell us. Talking the same shit, just remix like acapellas. I just want to spell it, but they stink so much that you can spell it. So, um, I'm wearing glasses because you know that Superstar Roadshow Live. And I hide myself because I don't want to make a big deal. I don't want to walk on the train and people are like, oh my god, is that it? Is that it? I might see you read it, bro. So, no so, so, no one knows you. So, bro. So, we just finished Birmingham and we're on our way back to London. And then next week is next, the next location. So, yeah, that road show life. When the sun shines in my lifetime, at one with the stars in the night. In the next episode, it's the last day of the road show in London. It's a mixture of emotions as the team preps to say sad farewells, but we pull out all the stops to ensure we end on a bang and the kids have the best time. Also, the kids are super excited and uh, they could be more gassed though. <sighs> if only we had like a more established, famous, well-known YouTuber. But I just can't think of anyone that would be around. Like, I just have no idea. Where are we gonna find one? Anyway, just do it out. Yeah. We need to find someone. Yeah, we need to definitely need to find someone. I just don't know who though. I can't think of anyone.